So it finished Wolves 2, Tottenham Hotspot 1. Honestly, what is going on? First Chelsea, now Wolves. We got Madders, Romero, Adugi. The list goes on. And with Aston Villa up next, it's not looking pretty, people. It is not looking pretty. Before I start today's review for the Wolves game, make sure to smash a like, have your say in the comments section about today's topic. And if you're new to my channel right now, smash that subscribe button. I'll be very much appreciated. So it finished Wolves 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1, honestly. First Chelsea, now Wolves. And with a very, 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 very good Aston Villa team up next and City the week up, oh sorry, City a couple of weeks after that. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Honestly. Ange Ball is, is um, not at the best right now. With a number of players missing. And we had to use the likes of Ben Davis, Eric Dyer as centre-backs yesterday. Honestly. So with a number of players missing, the two main centre-backs, Van der Ven, out injured until just past the new year. Romero, honestly, Romero with his red cards, it, silly challenges. I actually thought he, he got his act together and, you know, he calmed down with, with, with getting these red cards constantly. But no, Atman again, honestly, against Chelsea, against Chelsea, it was a very, very heated game. But you, you would have thought Romero, the likes of Romero, for one, for one, being a vice captain, you, you would have thought, oh, come on, okay, well, I'm, I'm vice captain, I've got to get me act together, but you know, it's, it's not happening, not happening. And for a, a very, very stupid mistake against Chelsea, he had to miss the Wolves game for his suspension. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comments section, but he's got another two games left in him until he's back in the starting lineup. But with Romero, Van der Ven, our two top centre backs missing. We are now playing Ben Davis and Eric Dyer at the back, and it's not looking good. Not looking good. A doogie as well with his rash mistake against the Chelsea boys. Obviously, he missed yesterday's game against Wolves. So uh, Emerson Royal stepped in there. Uh, big up Porro. Last man standing in that, st in that starting back four. But he, he put a shift in, put a very good shift in. But what could he do? No disrespect, but what, what, could, what could the guy do? There's James Madison, another player out till the new year, along with Van der Ven. It's not looking good. Johnson managed to get his, his first goal on a Spurs shirt yesterday to make it 1-0. I'm thinking, yes, come on. But it was, it, it, there was just no creativity there. Just boring, boring. And now... Neutral fans, your Spurs fan, our typical Spurs, but back to Spursy ways. I don't want to be hearing it. I really don't want to be hearing it. To think with, with with the fantastic start we had, and then it just oh, it just goes tits up from Chelsea onwards. And to think we got a very very good Villa side coming next. I dread to think, dread to think. But Angie's got to get it spot on. Got to get it spot on for the next game. But. You, you can't put all the blame on Ange. He's, he's only got the players there in front of him. He, he needs to back in. He needs to back up in January. That's the big question mark with Enoch and Daniel Levy. Now I'm going to bring Daniel Levy, Daniel Levy and Enoch back into back into the frame. It's been it's been a little while now, but with January only around the corner, January sells. He's got to start spending the big bucks and 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 supporting his boss, supporting Ange, because. Like I said, we've had a very, very good start. We're still in that top four, but to think we was first and now we dropped down to third, fourth with other teams playing right now. And and to think we was unbeaten a couple of weeks ago and we've lost two games already. Two games. Two games. The Gunners are above us. The Neighbours are above us. It's, it's not looking good. With Villa up next, I dread to think because we got a very good Man City the week after or two weeks after that. It's not looking good. Not looking good. The boys have got to get their act together. 
got to get their act together. Um, Sonny was very isolated yesterday, you know, and, and and no disrespect, but come on, you you got to, you got to allow the slack with Sonny, man. Sonny wasn't getting that. Um, put it this way, there was no James Madison there. When you ain't got the likes of Madders there, that that, that creativity, you're isolated. And, and not only that, Sonny was doing a lot more than what he usually did. You know, the, well, that, that's what I thought anyway. He, he was doing a lot more than what he would have normally, that he wouldn't have done previous games. Um, but, you know, it, he was isolated. John, I thought Johnson done all right. He, he, he banged in the goal. Banged in the goal and, and a very good goal, by the way. Um, very good, good, very good play leading up to that goal. Very good. But, honestly... The boys have got to get their act together. Dyer, I hate to say it because I hate slagging the my Spurs boys off, but when you got players, I, do you know what? Dyer, Dyer, Eric Dyer's a switch. You know, Dyer's a very strange one. Dyer's a strange one because when he came on for that Chelsea game, he, he put in, he, he did put in a shift. He put in a shift and he, he banged in a cracker, crack of a goal from that free kick volley. Um, very unlucky there, but. To, to, to play a full 90 minutes it's, it's a no-no it's, it's a no-no um, but boy to think we conceded two late goals with that five minutes added on time against Wolves it's, it's just a total joke really disgraceful way to uh, to lose a game it really is T to be one nil up all that time and, we, and yes I'm not looking at excuses, but the boys, they should have killed it off. They should have killed it off. And we had chances, had chances, but not as many chances as we had previous games because there was no creativity there. There was no Madders, no Madison there. There was no Romero with his long balls, you know, nothing, diddly squat. But like I said, January sells around the corner. They're just, just pray and hope Ange gets what he wants in January because... We have got a very, 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 very dodgy roller coaster coming up from from, Ast from the likes of Aston Villa coming up, Man City onwards. Games are coming thick and fast now, and, and we haven't got a big squad as it is. So let's pray and hope that January sales are going to be good to us. Levy's going to be good to us. <sighs> we can only hope. We can only hope. But that's enough from me. Have your say in the comments section. We move.